so, uh, so Meatloaf, why'd you tell me why you're here today? I'm here to see how. You're obviously done the show a few times, right? Oh, we have done the show a few times. Big fan of his? Of Howard? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah? Hey, Howard's funny. So what do you think of Howard? Would you give me your opinion of him? I think he's a very muscular, handsome guy. <laughs> well, you, you His hair that. is gorgeous, don't you think? I know, right? Very long. Yeah, he's got that long hair. He's got that rock and roll look. Yeah, he's got that rock. Look at the, look what uh, Leroy Newman did to him. I know, right? Look at that. Not a great catch. Cool sunglasses. Come on. He's got he's got a real rock and roll look. He's, he's got a real rock you know and roll. He's got a look. real I'm rock. I was wondering if he wears underwear underneath those jeans of his. I think he does. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely. He's not a true rock and roller yet. Oh why you don't? You're not supposed to wear underwear. <laughs> no. no. Hell Do you not. wear underwear? No. Oh so there you go. All right. So so then that's a lesson that he has not that's learned. That's right. Not yeah, yet. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I know. So um. You should start taking a poll when the rock and rollers come in. Oh why? So, so none of them wear underwear. Is that like the big yeah, thing? Yeah. Why is it. that? I guess for like groupies yeah, and stuff. Yeah, because you can't easier. sing high if you wear underwear. Oh, it's a singing <laughs> thing. I thought it was like a groupie thing. No, it's a singing thing. Let's bring in Meatloaf. Meatloaf has a new album out. He's on a roll. Yeah, I've been hearing cuts from it. Yeah, it's real in good. In fact, I was uh, over on the west side one night a couple of weeks ago, and I saw these people lined up, and I said, what is this line for? And it was Meatloaf at the Beacon. Yeah, Meatloaf. Let me take a look at him. Let me see you. All right, look at you. You look good. You're on a roll. Look at you. on a roll. That was great. Meatloaf on a roll. Very good. I didn't even think of that. Look at you. on a roll. He looks healthier than ever. How you doing, Howard? Good to see you, Meatloaf. How you doing? The Meat Master General. Remember, you know, there were those lean years with meat. There was those lean years. I want to say, first of all, how happy I am for you. That when you came to see me last time, you had put out your last album. That's right. The sequel. The sequel to Bad Out of Hell. Yeah, but you, I'm you came on here. You were down on your luck. You were looking for danglers to sell out of the street. <laughs> That's right. I was. Things hadn't been and going. You didn't this. have danglers then. <laughs> Listen, no. Meatloaf was had money. Obviously, you know. Yeah, you know he that, was doing all right. That, that the album Bad Out of Hell was the third largest selling album in the history of music. Do you know how many copies did that sell? Bad Out of Hell. More than they admit to. <laughs> what would you say? Would you, do you have any idea what the number is? Is it forty million? Is it? I I don't know. They 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 admit to like twenty six or twenty seven. So you can. Did you guys there. have to go back into court and? Oh, they're, we're we're still actually still doing court. that. How could that we be? We haven't gone to court. We I think we're getting ready to sue them. You are. Yeah. You mean you're still fighting over that money? Oh well, we don't, I don't fight over it. I mean, I don't sit around and worry about it, Howard. I don't right. really, you know, I don't scream and yell about it. But there are people, I guess, that are screaming and yelling about it for you. Yeah. Cool. But that costs you a lot of money to hire those people. Yeah, oh, contingency. But yeah. Well, no, not really. But if you look at the, if you look at the other side, it's not. It's really like not a whole lot. Minuscule. You know what? Right. I'll tell you. I was going to say there must be a lot of money to get. All I know is to pay the money to go get it. The record business <laughs> well, sucks. Yeah, that's the, that's the you know that's what happens. That's the that's the thing uh, when. What do you what do you think? Hold you back because they figure you can't afford to go right. after them. But yeah. what do you? So th then when you get an opportunity to go after them, people do believe me. I you know but, look at look at Billy Joel and people like that. But what do you think happened? Like they just lied outright and said you didn't sell as many as you sold. Is no, that the basic? I, well, that's yeah. That's the basic fact. Is they they just they the, yeah. That's a basic fact of all record companies. You know, going in, a, any artist knows. Really? Going in. You mean there's no there's no accurate? Why do they do that's that? Like, that's like that's like the. I mean, it's not any different than the movie people. You Perfect still think example. that's today? So there's a guy named Robert Wagner. You know Robert Wagner? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, studio Actor. yeah. Studio owed him ten million dollars. Right. And point blank, they knew they owed it to him. Right. But he didn't want to spend the million it cost to go get it, so they made a settlement for four. Right. But he was owed. 10 10. He was owed ten, so he didn't cost him any money to go get the four. So he got the four. So he was basically, in, in a way, happy with the four. Right, right. Because he ended up with nothing. But the movie company just made six. Right. How happy were they? They were thrilled. Yeah, they were thrilled, and so it's over with. So that's that's the game. That's that's the game. Bitter are we? No, oh. not bitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm love. telling you, not not <laughs> really. Because I would be bitter. Well, you can't be. You know what it is? Because yeah, but you, Howard, you can't be bitter. I'll tell you why I'd be bitter. Like, for example, I just wrote a book, yeah. and I poured my guts out in that book. I did everything to make that good, and I feel yeah. They can't I, stop that title, by the way. I, I'm listen. I've had enough legal experience to know they can't. They stop can't that. stop Miss America, right? No, not at all. I don't know. There still seems to be some issue that you see. You see, it's not I that they can what. stop it. It's just that if they take you to court over it, it ends up costing you a fortune to sit there and argue it. And it does throw. Yeah, but you, I mean, and, and then lawyers end up making mess. tons of money, both sides. I mean, yeah, but they can't. The trademark laws can't. You can't. They, 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 they can't no, if you if you called uh, a New Year's Eve the Miss America pageant, they could stop you. Right, because it'd be confusion. But this no, is a book. <laughs> not confusion. Just you're taking their trademark in that 
Right. And this is clearly a book written by some maniac called Howard Stern. It's written across the cover. Yeah. That there's no way that I'm confusing people and saying no. that that's Miss America. No. They, you know, if Tom Clancy did it, they wouldn't. If Tom Clancy wrote a book called Miss America, they probably wouldn't say anything about right. it. Right. But it's me, and they want to get. Yeah. They want to get on my ass. So who knows? The only thing I was nervous about that lawyers were getting involved, and all of a sudden a judge. I know in my case, judges will go, "Oh, let's bring Howard Stern in, and we'll decide." And then oh, the yeah. book wouldn't be on sale for you know Christmas when I wanted it on sale. Plus, plus you never know what judge you're going to get. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. I got a judge in Cleveland. He was a real winner. Mm. Remember the oh, drinking yeah. judge. The drinking, the drinking judge. and driving judge. The drinking and driving judge. <laughs> oh, I managed to get a judge in in nineteen something another that that. That was totally paid off. I mean, they they came. Oh, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that happened to me in those years. You wouldn't even. You wouldn't wish on your worst enemy, Howard. I guarantee you. But you son of a bitch, you've proved you them survived? wrong in your back. Yeah, Look at you. Yeah, Look at you. Take a bow. Stand up. Come on, man. What are you? Oh, okay, you okay, there you go. Look at you. You son of a bitch. You did it. But you know, you wonder. Yeah. He's sitting there saying, you know, you know, going in, the record company's going to try to cheat you. Right. Don't you feel funny going back into business with him? No. That's why he's selling his album on a one eight hundred number. You know, yeah, that's right. You know, you know, going, but you know, he's got to make the music, Rob. And what's yeah, he got to do? The, it's, it's in the him. Work. It's yeah, in him. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not. For, you know, you know, you're swimming in a river of snakes. So you just get a little rowboat and go. Now, let ahead me ask you something. Today, when the age of the computer and the readout of how many oh, were it's sold, even worse now. you think it's worse? <laughs> <laughs> they just change the numbers. Uh, you really feel that way? Oh uh, yeah, because you got to understand, it's not even the fact they can sit here and they can put it over a scanner and the record will go through and you know it's sold. Okay? Right. And in America, it's you know now they got it pretty down. But when you get in to overseas and you get into Europe and I sell a ton of records over there they start with all this tax loophole oh we had to do this with the tax and that's in the tax uh. right. and the VAT and this whole thing and you know how many millions of dollars I mean you know like so the last record know. billed out 144 million dollars okay so you, you gotta figure that's as much as you know if it was a movie how big right. a hit would they call they, that they would call that you they would have spent 60 million dollars on it right so if you spend time you do the videos you make the album uh, they do all the promotion if they spend 8 yeah or 9 total Right. You know, and they do 144, and you get, I mean, you get, you really get nothing. I mean, you get, <laughs> I know. In percentage wise, you get nothing, but you know that. So, so you don't, you're not bitter, you just do the work because that's what you do. I you told Fred understand. that because Fred was going, well, Meatloaf must have had tons of money, even based on 26 million album yeah. sales. He must, I said, yeah, but they always work it out. The cost of video costs 3 million, this cost, well, what cost, you know, the studio cost. He makes a good cost. example when you say uh, the movies. Forrest Gump didn't make any money as uh, far as they, they never oh, showed yeah, a yeah, no, no, if you're an actor, if you're an actor, <laughs> right. and you say, a contract right. for for uh, not gross points but net points. Yes. <laughs> you forget it. You know, like you could have been you could have been in in ET and wouldn't have made a dime <laughs> right. on net points. You can't so believe it. Like, oh yeah, gross points. You would have made a fortune. So you're it, saying not only you owed American dollars, but you are owed yen and Deutschmarks as well. That's and all mostly where that's mostly where it is. I see. Mostly overseas. They hide it overseas. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe how how uh, terrible this is. <laughs> it's not terrible, Howard. It's not. So, it's so not. You, you figure you sold more than twenty. Six million on the the bat out of hell out. Oh yeah, and you saw some money out of it, but you, like everyone assumed you were just rich and could retire, and yeah. you couldn't. You couldn't. No, you no, couldn't. No, you, you can't retire. Plus, I wouldn't. Who, who, what do you want? No, you know what you I mean. You didn't yeah, yeah. want to retire, or you couldn't retire. No, well, you couldn't, but who would have? I wouldn't have wanted to anyway. Okay. I would have. Uh, so an artist know. makes his money when he tours, is what you're saying. Yeah, you make money. You have some you control tour. on that. Yeah. yeah, and you just get a good, you know, get a good guy out on the road with you, and and, and uh, what a sucky business. I know, but, it, you, but you're you know in you're it too, going Howard. It's sharks. like the old joke: the guy who's who's the guy who's working at the circus and he's shoving shoving an evil, evil, uh, elephant shit, right? Well, wait a oh. second. Wait, wait. Sorry, you say, oh, but, but let's start again. Me. The guy who's working at the circus, circus and he's shoveling sorry. elephant duty. That's duty. Right, sorry. You can't say sorry, the S word. Yeah. Sorry, Howard. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't want to get you in trouble. You've been in enough trouble. That's You're not kidding. Elephant duty, right? right. Elephant yes. duty. Yes. Sorry about yes. that. Yes. And, and, and he keeps complaining about it, right? Right. And so the guy comes up to him and says, well, then... What? Then stop doing it. He goes, and get out of show business? <laughs> yeah, right. You can't, it's in your blood. Yeah. You can't like, get you out. You want me to get out of show business? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love meat love, man. So what are you on? Some big promotional tour, because they told me they only have you for a few minutes. But yeah, you, uh, Where big, are you going today? Uh, I'm, I don't Today's know. Today's show? I have no... No, no. They, I taped that. They ran that supposedly yesterday. I didn't see it. I think my Today Show runs today or tomorrow. I saw you. I saw I, I saw you on 2020, man. <laughs> I saw this art out on 2020. I'm telling you... 
John's yeah, it was, John Stossel John, was, was the wrong guy for the job. Oh, it was a sheep with a yeah, yeah you caught in the headlights. A lamb, boy, yeah. he was caught in the headlights. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I never seen a face like that in my life. Man. He was the wrong guy for he's the job. He's sitting on his bench. I guess he's in the back. Right, back yeah. Here. Where yeah. was he sitting? Right over there. Yeah. yeah, right over there. I thought I said, oh, he's in the back, and he was sitting there like this. Yeah, I'm going. Oh man, this, somebody should help this guy out, right? <laughs> yeah, now. but I mean, what you know, what was the big deal? I said to the guy, Gee, do you have any kids? And he's like, oh, I'm not talking about my family. Oh yeah, what? Uh, I mean, what is that? You know what? I saw that. I, I, I have thought about that a long time. I said, this very simple answer to that question, yes or no. Yeah. But the point is, these guys are hiding so much, they're afraid they're going to get tripped every I don't time know. they open. I don't it. know what it is. You know what they're, you they're, know what it you know, is? He's they like were afraid the, they were going to call, Howard was going to call his wife and ask him what he's, ask her what she's wearing. How could he call? He didn't get the, he doesn't I know have that, the but number. I'm just saying. But you know what's I mean? weird about it? The guy, John Stossel was a consumer reporter, and he's pretty much like a consumer reporter, yeah. a guy who uncovers stuff and all that, and he's an investigative reporter. And all of a sudden, he was put on a fun assignment because I asked, I requested him. Right. I don't know why. I must have been unanswered. <laughs> no, so, no, he was the perfect you guy for you. Yeah, yeah, come on. I don't know. But, but I mean, it was a fun assignment. Have some fun with it. I mean, why does life have to be so serious? Are you a racist? Are you a... Th- I mean, come on. Mellow out. Yeah, I, I mean, it was just... Uh, yeah, they, they no, have, my conclusion geez. is the only thing... <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, I wish I could do that, Howard. That. Oh, oh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> oh, I just I vomited. You, I love when you did. Oh, that's disgusting. Right. I love when people can do that on, yeah. on, on you know, just, you know... Let oh, it go. Thank you. Go. That, was a, uh, that was a sample. That was cheating over there. <laughs> I'm so happy for I you, man. You know how happy I was for you when you came in and you promoted that last oh, album yeah, and then it took off? Let me tell you, you know what? You know what? You see how it took off? How unbelievable, man. I'm telling you. It did. It's great. And now you have... And then we saw him on, you know, he's hosting music awards yeah. and all that. Oh, stuff. let's not Great. talk about it. Oh, Robin. What? Oh, man, that was, oh, Why God. was that bad? Oh, oh, man, oh, What man. music award show did you host? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, I hit on to something. Oh, yeah. oh, man, oh, man. Goldmine. Oh, man. Oh, what happened? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What happened? What? American Music Awards. Dick Clark calls me up and says, we well, host American Music Awards. And I was really excited. I'm going, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's cool. My triumphant return. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hosting me. I said, I'm, I'd be good on TV. I'm good on TV. I can I can sit there. I don't get nervous. You've got a personality. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I can. I can read a cue card. Yeah, you know, no not problem. A, not I, a moron. Oh uh, yeah, and in the category of, I said, you know, I can handle this. Yeah, and so, um, so I'm there, and they they bring over this. I, I said, I want something good to wear, you know. So I get, I call this guy. Um, um, like a designer? Uh, I, yeah. Not for, oh, man. Henry? I, I forget. It's Henry's exact. Duarte. Very good. Yeah, Henry I Duarte. Duarte. Yeah. yeah, I've called him. Yeah, so I call Henry Duarte, and he gives me this cool jacket. It's really nice. And so the, I can't believe Dick, I knew the designer. Yeah, That's pretty really? Dick Clark. Dick, Dick Clark. <laughs> yeah. You're a rock guy. Yeah. So Dick Clark calls me up and says, or his assistant calls him up and says, we'd like to, to bring in this guy to dress you. And I said, well... I got a small weenie. I'm not sure I can handle it. So no, I'm right, just right, yeah. So, uh, so I go, oh, okay. So he brings over these clothes, and right. I'm going, well, how am I going to do all this? He says, well, we just change you. And I said, well, I've got Henry Duarte's jacket, and it really looks great, and I look great. And he goes, well, you can wear that. And so I go, okay. So the next thing I know, I'm going, you know, you're running around, and this guy's dressing me, and all of a sudden, I realize about three quarters of the show that this guy's been tying these big giant bows on me and stuff like that. <laughs> and um, I see it back. I see the replay of it. You look like I a, look like a big, you know. A, a gay elf. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. And I'm like freaking out and people are going. Because rock and roll is image. I know, but people are on radio. I'm talking to people on radio and they're going, what were those clothes you were wearing? I'm going, oh, my Yeah, like, you know, like, you know that the guys who drink beer and listen to meat love music are going, right. hey, man, <laughs> what, what happened to me? Meat? What's meat fag? Yeah, really. You know, it's like, That's you know, what exactly is that? Right. You know, like, those guys you know, don't well, understand it's it. One thing, image is good, you know. If you want to have an image, great. So Henry didn't do <laughs> that to you. It was, it was the guy from the Dick Clark oh, show. Man. Oh, man. Tell me, I was in these gold bows and, <laughs> you know, and little little feathers out of my hair. Yeah, and like, I'm hey, going, ah! Why don't they rename that album Bat Out of Buttocks? That's exactly right. That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> That's right. The bad out of buttocks. You get it right here. What am I, like Kate Smith at the Queen's coronation? I mean, what is this? Worse than that. Right. Well, you look good today. That's all a I got Kate say. Smith impersonator at Queen's <laughs> coronation. <laughs> Listen, Meatloaf is on some wild promotional tour. Yeah. His new album is out. It's the new CD, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Uh, I think everyone's heard the single that uh, I'd Lie for You. Yeah. And That's the Truth. Yes. Yeah. You had to have heard it. I mean, it's been all over <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. 
It is everywhere. Is that like a hit already? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a real good song. Thanks, honey. Who wrote that? Jimmy? No, Jimmy didn't write that. Oh, you did it without you him. Kidding. No, you Jimmy left Jimmy. Didn't, Jimmy didn't. No, I didn't leave Jimmy. <laughs> he just kind of. Jimmy was writing this. I, I don't quite know what Jimmy's writing, but he's writing with Andrew Lloyd Webber. At least Andrew Lloyd Webber working with Jim Stein will have good lyrics. I don't yes. know. I don't know, man. That's no, a, that, you that, think that, Andrew Lloyd Webber will ruin Jimmy? Yeah, he will ruin <laughs> Jim Stein. He will well, ruin him. I'm telling you. It's I, a big I, mistake. I, I don't. You know, well, Jimmy likes that lifestyle. You got to understand. Yeah, he wants he to be likes, a gentleman. He likes, he wants yeah, to be a he knight. likes the castles. He likes the wine. He uh, likes the thing. You know, he, he likes to do his thing. He likes that. Where is the CD? That, you didn't bring it with you, did I you? I did. You did? Hey, Gary. I brought 87 of them in here. Hey, Toothy. You got the CD? Get right under your food. Well, what, why is my food on top of the CD? I, have no idea. I give this stuff to you in advance. Oh, you give it to me in advance? There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's buried underneath my. Oh, it's my fault that you put right, my food on top of it. You know how you know how they always get censoring you and things. Yeah. And talking about this, I'm telling you, I, I got I got really upset here. Why? See this? See this right here? Picture of a woman with a gun. Yeah, with the two guns around her neck and yeah. Stanka. That was going to be my cover. And they said no. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Because of uh, just you want to know what you know what I had such hassles with the cover of my book and it's not worth it if you work that's really exactly hard on I, something that's exactly and then all of a sudden a retailer won't display it because right. of the cover it's yeah. just not worth it yeah. that's right so they don't I, care what the hell you put inside that just, but let me tell you about that painting that painting was painted in 1941 the girl with the guns yeah and was on every it was on the cover of True Detective which was on every magazine stand in North America we become more painting. conservative now for, 1945 yeah, so I know. 50 years later you, you can't, can't have the it. same cover and it's art, not, not, you know. Meatloaf, thanks for coming by. Howard, thanks. What do you got in front of you, by the way? That's a computer. No, not that. Oh, that's, in, that's my uh, breakfast. What is that? Turkey and a baked potato. I think I'm going to be thin from this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know saying, is... Howard, but it's like a whole turkey. Yeah. I eat, <laughs> I eat... I eat... I'm going to I'm gonna be thin. I'm just going to eat turkey. You see I'm this turkey? turkey? You see this turkey, how thin it's cut? Yeah, I see how thin it's cut, but you got a pile on there. And it's you like... can't afford this. This is, <laughs> right. this is top-notch turkey. Look at the you're fat right. hanging off you're this. Right. Right. You're right. You're right. I cannot afford that because they won't pay me for bad out of hell. I can't this afford is, that kind of turkey. This is the food I eat every that morning. It's like paper. Yeah, look at it. I haven't cut it thin, so, I don't, I, so I'm not reminded that this once was a bird with a face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know. Anyway, listen, Meatloaf. I'm All happy right. for you. Stop staring at my food. It's embarrassing enough. <laughs> and the new CD, go out and pick it up. It's called Welcome to the Neighborhood with the Single I'd Lie for You, and that's the truth. The great Meatloaf. Yeah. And Thanks, uh, we'll be back right after these words. Here we go. Here we I go. love this little camera you got here. Yeah, we follow you around. <laughs> oh, another one. Asking me questions while I go on the camera. None Funny of these pictures thing. come out, by the way. I saw oh, Ralph's Rouse pictures for the first time yesterday. They're all blurred and horrible. Really? All right. See you later. Thanks, Howard. You got it. Thanks, babe.